North Korea vows to attack America as Kim Jong-un demands justice for Donald Trump trying to isolate and stifle his country. North Korea has threatened thousands-fold revenge against the United States for banning exports worth $1 billion following its intercontinental ballistic launches. Crackpot leader Kim Jong-un is demanding justice over Donald Trump's attempts to isolate and stifle his country with ban on exporting coal, iron, lead and seafood. Kim Jong-un celebrates with his generals after the latest Hwasong-14 missile test. The tough new UN sanctions could slash North Korea's $3 billion annual export revenue by a third. State-controlled media carried a statement from the North that promised a move would never force the country to negotiate over its nuclear program or to give up its nuclear drive. It says it will take action of justice but didn't elaborate. It's after US President Donald Trump and South Korean President Moon Jae-in agreed to apply maximum pressure and sanctions on North Korea in a telephone call on Monday. Security Council unanimously imposed new sanctions on North Korea on Saturday aimed at pressuring Pyongyang to end its nuclear program. Drafted resolution bans North Korean exports of coal, iron, iron ore, lead, lead ore and seafood following Pyongyang's two intercontinental ballistic missile tests in July. It run media released this image of the deadly long-range rocket taking off. A U.S. Air Force B-1B bomber, top, flies with South Korean fighter jets. North Korea slammed the move to send the bombers to the Korean Peninsula. It also prohibits countries from increasing the current numbers of North Korean laborers working abroad. Bans new joint ventures with North Korea and any new investment in current joint ventures. North Korea denounced the sanctions, saying they infringed on its sovereignty and vowed to take righteous action, according to the North's official news agency. Pyongyang would never place its nuclear program on the negotiating table as long as the United States maintained a hostile policy against the North, the government statement reported by KCNA said. North Korea's state TV release video of latest missile test which is capable of reaching U.S. mainland. Foreign Minister Ryong Ho called new UN sanctions fabricated and warned there would be strong follow-up measures and acts of justice. In a statement he said the resolution showed the United Nations had abused its authority and that North Korea was ready to give America a severe lesson with its strategic nuclear force if it takes military action against it. It said its intercontinental ballistic missile tests in July proved that the entire United States was in its firing range, and those missiles were a legitimate means of self-defense. The US and South Korea test fire missiles during a training exercise. US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the support of China and Russia for the latest sanctions sent a strong message to North Korea about what was expected of it. Tillerson said, when the conditions are right then we can sit and have a dialogue around the future of North Korea so they feel secure and prosper economically. The best signal that North Korea can give us that they are prepared to talk would be to stop these missile launches. U.S. military knocks down ballistic missile and THAAD interceptor test amid heightened tensions with North Korea. North Korea has long accused the United States and South Korea of escalating tensions by conducting military drills. North and South Korea are technically still at war because their 1950-53 conflict ended in a truce, not a peace treaty. During an hour-long phone call, 
Moon and Trump said they would continue cooperating to reign in North Korea, particularly ahead of a regular joint military drill set for late August, South Korean presidential office spokesman Park Su Hyun told a media briefing. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signs the order to carry out the test fire of intercontinental ballistic rocket. Moon was also cited as saying there was a need to show North Korea the door to dialogue is still open, should Pyongyang give up its nuclear program. In a separate statement, the White House said the two leaders affirmed that North Korea poses a grave and growing direct threat to most countries around the world. In a Twitter post, Trump said he was very happy and impressed with 15-0 United Nations vote on the sanctions. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for The Sun online news team? Email us at tips at thesun.co.uk or call 020-778-24368. We pay for videos too.